We all know why we're here, right? It's not your average regular schmegala tier list. This is a dupes tier list. Hi guys. What's up? I mean, salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my You see, the devil want me to say what's up. But God want me to say salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome or welcome back to Boss Girlified. It's your girl Tima. And before we get into today's video, can we just acknowledge? Like, honestly, I am so glad. I feel like I found my people. Notice I get so much love from pretty fly bitches. The, you know, the bum bitches be hating, but um, it's expected. But when it comes to like the little, you know, the pretty, they come up, you know, hugs and kisses. I'm always down to kiss, you know, the pretty girls. So welcome and thank you for subscribing and watching and liking and commenting and all that fun stuff. Um, so anyways, enough sappy shit because we're not simps over here. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Another uh, disclaimer or reminder or I don't know, something. Just note. I have seen your comments. Makeup tutorial on the way. Skincare routine on the way. Korean skincare tier list. On the way. Natalia! 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 Yeah, just um, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss those. In case you guys are new here and you guys don't know how the tier list system be working, at the top of the tier list we have awesome, like just to die for. Next we have great, like it's great but it's not awesome. Next we have Aww. cute. Cute is like. It did a little something, but that was about it. <laughs> okay. And then we have just fine. I do, I got a little excited and I do have a couple of like higher end stuff. So let's just go ahead and get those out of the way first, just because I couldn't help myself. <laughs> the first item I have is the, okay, for my sake, I really wish these companies would make one line titles please so we have the drunk elephant d bronzy sunshine drops i've been trying all of the viral tiktok makeup so i'm going to tell you what's worth it and what's not first up drunk elephant bronzing drops i do like these because it's not self tanner so it's not permanent it washes off but i just don't think it blends that well you see but i've yet to see any other products similar to it so there's nothing to really compare it to I do like it, but like, hello. <laughs> okay. To their credit, I should have known better. <laughs> and let me tell you why. I bought this because I have seen this literally everywhere on my TikTok for you page. But I didn't see any brown girls trying it. Now, after trying this, I see why. <laughs> it is pricey. I've seen some mixed reviews about it. And I was like, you know what? I just want to try it out. I want to see like if it's brown girl approved. Let me tell you, it's not. <laughs> Let me just get that off of my chest right now. It's just, it's just not brown girl approved, at least for my complexion. When you apply it, it's definitely not like greasy, which is good. So it seems like it would last well, but under makeup, I don't think it's the most efficient thing. I use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, and that shit is my ish. I have been using it for years, but never has it lost its tack. And it lost its tack when I layered it with the sun, sunshine, or sunshine, sunshine, <laughs> sunshine drops. So that wasn't cute. So yeah. I don't know. I don't even know if it's worth it, to be honest, even if you do have a lighter complexion. But I will say it does give a nice little glow, a nice little shimmer under your makeup. Um, and it's not too much, but it's enough to where it's visible. And it also seems like it's one of those products that if you wear it like with a light, no makeup makeup look, it will look phenomenal. And I feel like this is more of like a face tan type of vibe than anything else is it worth the money though i don't think so i think you can probably find something better that does basically the same thing for me that is i'm gonna I'm give you guys a free little dupe here <laughs> it's the elf vitamin c primer it's not really a primer for me it's more of like a pre-makeup serum 
I've been using that also for years. It hasn't stuck right beside me, and it ain't going nowhere. Like this is that. your man. Yes. Look at the screen. That's mine. And, and, I, that, and, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him. But I do highly recommend that for most people. Shimmery, it adds this nice little like um, glow under your makeup. And it's it's moisturizing. It's it's great all around. This is just the look of it. it that's it. Um, so with that being said, this, I'm going to have to put them in the Aww. cute. It screams cute energy. It just doesn't do much for me. I think this would work a little bit better with someone who is a lighter complexion, which kind of sucks. Like, I wish that they made something like this that was more universal, but I get it. Like, not every product can be extremely universal. So, with that being said, I don't want to waste this. I'm definitely not going to use it again. So, I've only used it once. It is open, but it's a little squeeze to bottle. So, hopefully you guys don't mind, but if you want it, Comment in the comments down below anything. Literally, you don't even have to like go out of your way. But just make sure you're following me on Instagram at Boss Girlified, um, and I'll just send it to you guys for free because I'm literally not gonna use it. Next product is the Pixie Fortify Toning Eye Patches. It is very hydrating. They are supposed to instantly tone and lift um, your eyes. That's what it says on here. I feel like it's just a regular <laughs> um, eye mask. I mean, I've used a lot of eye masks and it doesn't really feel too different than any other ones I've used. It is very similar to the hydrogel sheet masks. But I will say though, it comes with a, quite a bit. It comes with 30 pairs. Per pair, it's not more than a dollar, that's for sure. So it is definitely worth it because if you're, if you're an eye mask girl, you might as well just buy something that's gonna last you for a while. So to be honest, I like it, but it's not like extremely gassed up. Like it's not like this holy grail that you need in your collection. But if you do use eye masks, get this one because you're probably going to save a lot more money but to be fair you can probably find cheaper eye masks um in other places but it gets the job done too so i can't be mad at it so with that being said the pixie eye patches are gonna have to go in great because you know bang for your buck <laughs> okay now let's get into the dupes now let's get into the fun part so we're gonna start with the hydrating camo concealer satin finish this is supposed to be a dupe for the tarte shape tape concealer by the way just in case you guys are curious this is in the shade deep deep olive elf hydrating camo concealer i have the shade medium beige and from what i remember i absolutely love this concealer let's try it out because it's been a while honestly this is blending out really nicely Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Creases quickly, so you're just gonna have to work fast to set that in place. I really like this concealer. It brightened up my under eyes. It's not drying, and even with powder, like I don't really see any cakiness going on. Like I'll zoom in. Like I'm gonna do a little mini wear test, and I'll be right back. It's been exactly ten hours since I last talked to you. My makeup is literally like so crazy it looks crazy i tried to touch up my bronzer and blush but i think i just made it worse the concealer so this is what it looks like this is what it looks like up close there's not a lot of creasing like i'm actually really impressed with it this eye creased a lot more than this eye and looks really bad over here it honestly just depends what powder you use but this eye looks a lot better than this side let me know what you think about that concealer i like it a lot it first of all it's so blendable i'm talking boom boom and a boom and the shit was blended i went in kind of heavy-handed i was like all right i'm gonna have to really <laughs> put in some arm muscle here but girl it blended in like ease like butter it settles really nicely into my skin I am the type of girl I get creases under my eyes very easily. I feel like I do have a little bit of creasing, but it's not crazy. The one caveat I have 
is the undertone. This is something I'm still kind of playing around with in my makeup, but I am a warm undertone girl. I don't know if you guys can tell, you probably can, but I have a very warm undertone. This little thingamajiggy here, it has a more of a yellow undertone as you guys can probably tell. Thing is with a lot of companies, even though a lot of companies are getting better at doing this, but a lot of makeup companies still lack range and diversity when it comes to darker skin tones. It doesn't necessarily mean like people aren't including darker shades still. They definitely are. Like there are darker shades of everything nowadays. However, they, a lot of companies don't really prioritize undertones when it comes to the darker side of the spectrum of makeup so it was very hard for me to find something that would well suit me if you guys know a better shade maybe let me know in the comments down below but also i do kind of like the yellow contrast undertone um of the concealer in contrast with my red undertone because it kind of gives like a more defined look to my face but I still think I would like a warmer undertoned concealer better. So they got a little point knocked off of that one. But still, the concealer is great. I'm sure if I found something like that, that was a better undertone. Or maybe if they added a better undertone for darker skin tones, it would be golden. I'm still going to go ahead and put it in the top tier. Awesome. Because genuinely, the formula is great. The price point, great, especially compared to the Tarte Shape Tape. And also, um, we never forgot Tarte. We did not forget Tarte. Let's go into the ELF Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Now this one, this thing right here, if you can tell my by my enthusiasm, we might as well just go ahead and put it in awesome already because girl this right here first of all the price point is amazing second of all the applicator hold on let me show you this thick chunky nice little brush like come on come on easy application i have never been a fan of the pump foundation i've seen that it does basically the same thing as that um original expensive higher end product girl i truly could care less because i have just found my favorite foundation in the world literally this thing like out of all of the products that i've recommended this is it this is it this is it this is it first of all the applicator phenomenal even though i will admit i'm a little bit scared because i am a sensitive skinned girly all right so um dipping something back into the bottle and wiping it on my face i'm not sure about that um i'll see how that goes because bacteria <laughs> and sensitive skin <laughs> don't really mesh well <laughs> so that i'm a little bit like mm -hmm. However, the formula, guys, I am not kidding. I put like four little dashes on my face. And I, first of all, let me just say, I have to use a lighter foundation. I cannot, I my skin just does not like heavier foundations, full coverage foundations. My skin just doesn't work with it. So this is definitely my bestie because I already use like tinted moisturizers as foundation or like cc creams as foundation so this is perfect for me but i literally use like four little swipes on my face maybe three little pat pat pats and it was blended in witchcraft has to be involved <laughs> So yeah, this is going straight up and awesome. Next, we have the NYX Brow Glue. This is not necessarily a dupe, but it is a lower end um, um, product. But you guys, you know, you know, I didn't really appreciate the e.l.f. brow lift very much. I didn't. I did not like it. It does not last very well on me. 
It's literally edge controlled, packaged in a bottle. But this, oh my goodness, this is it. It is basically, so for me, what I usually do is I use an edge control and a gel, like um, got to be Gorilla Snot, something like that. And I mix the two and I put them as my brow. And not only does it like lay perfectly, but it stays throughout the day. This is those two combined in a little bottle and you only need a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. This is worth it. 100% like I'm like foaming at the mouth right now. <laughs> Where has this been my whole life? But yes, obviously going in awesome. Obviously. Next up, we have the Putty Blush from e.l.f. This is not a dupe for anything that I know of, but it is definitely lower end. It's not too expensive at all. And I'm wearing it right now. As you can see, it's very nice. Um, there's literally nothing to complain about. It's very applicable. Applicable? Y'all, please. Those few of you running, running, please. Let's just act like that didn't happen, okay? It's very easy to apply. <laughs> That's easier. It's very easy to apply. It doesn't seem like it's gonna smudge off anytime soon. It seems pretty long lasting, especially because when I was patting it in, it wasn't moving around. Like it was just building on top of each layer I put. It's very buildable. I literally have no complaints. The colors are great. This is the shade that I got. I literally have no complaints. That is going in awesome. And finally, we have the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. Get your face first and then you go in with the finishing powder. It's going to give you that snatched, flawless, smooth look that you're going for. This is her right here. Um, yes. e.l.f. has a running theme here of just making products that work. Both physically. Well, physically both ways, but... They have a habit of making products that work for you and work for your bank account too. Like, it's honestly disrespectful. And I'm honestly hurt because I love their products so much. Like, why do y'all make good products like that? How? What kind of witchcraft is going behind this? I know there's something going on, I know it's something deeper. If you couldn't tell, it's going in awesome. Awesome. Oh, actually, I forgot one more. Hold on. Hold on here. Hold on. And finally, for the last product in this tier list, we have the NYX Fat Oil. I bought five of the most viral glosses on TikTok, so you don't have to. Is it worth the hype? That lip oil is my favorite, you guys. It smells weird but I'm obsessed with how red the tint is. This one also lasts pretty long at seven hours. So this is supposed to be a dupe for the Dior lip oil. Now, I was very excited because the Dior lip oil, I have tried it before, is the best thing that has ever left my life. <laughs> and, <clears throat> sorry and emotional and it's also very expensive so um bought it once attempted to repurchase but my bank account at the moment said no so but in the future i will definitely be repurchasing but with that being said i was excited to try this because this is supposed to be a dupe i like it it's very close it's also a lot cheaper a lot cheaper <laughs> however it's not the Dior lip oil. It's just not her, you know? It's just, it's just not her. So, um, as much as I like it, there's nothing that can compare to the Dior lip oil. With that being said, I'm gonna have to put it in Q. Aww. It does what it's supposed to do. It does what it said it was gonna do. But it's just not, it's just not her. It just doesn't last as well as the Dior lip oil. Like I've already had to reapply this twice and I've only been working on content for about like one and a half, two hours. But the Dior lip oil, girl, you apply it once 
and I'm not kidding it lasts for like three to four hours it's crazy like fully on there it ain't going nowhere unless you you know obviously even when you drink it's very wearable and durable the nyx fat oil it's very similar in formula it's not super sticky which i hate about lip glosses um it's glossy enough it's very glossy but it just it just has that one element that it's missing that the dior lip oil has anyways guys that is it for today's tier list this is the completed tier list um, I hope you guys enjoyed and by the way guys just as a quick little message about buying about buying products a lot of the higher end stuff you can find a lot of lower end stuff that either do the same exact thing or do that times 10 and it works so much better so with that being said this tier list has been one of my favorites for sure because I almost completely loved every single no i i loved every single one of the lower end products and conveniently enough the one product that i did not like too much was a higher end product so higher end does not always equal the best product out there i'm just saying anyways guys thank you so much for watching today's video it has been tima and if you like videos like this don't leave before leaving a like and subscribing girl you you Girl, you know you want to hang out a little bit more. Come on. Anyways, guys, it has been Tima, and I'll see you on another video soon. Bye, guys. She a baddie, she's showing her panties. She's shaking like jelly. Honey, bands of Chanel.